Welcome to the Team of the Year Treasure Hunt. 15 Team of the Year items have been hidden all over the UK. And it's my job to travel the length of the country to try and find the Team of the Year. I have 11 hours to try and find the whole Team of the Year. I will be given treasure map clues by 15 YouTubers and content creators to try and find each Team of the Year item. If I successfully find all the Team of the Year items in 11 hours, I will win four football kits to give away to you guys as subscribers. Subscribers. If I fail, I will have to complete a dreaded Team of the Year forfeit. Welcome to part two of finding the Team of the Year in real life. Can we complete the Team of the Year treasure hunt? We've already had half of our time, so it's time to go and find Rodri. MCFC lads, take it away with the clues. It's me, MCFC lads, and I've got you some clues today. Clue one is I'll never forget the day he scored the goal to bring the Champions League home. Oh, that's an interesting first clue, Luke. I need another one. Clue two is I was on top of the world, the highest moment in my life. The highest point? I know that was the highest point in his life, but what could he mean by that? How could that be a clue? I'm going to need clue three. And the third clue is I link all the play together in the midfield. The academy boys look over me. I think I know where it is from the clues, but it's still going to be hard to find Roger. Surely there might be a moral or something like that but it seems to be taking us back to the Etihad Stadium. Well, we are here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm surprised we haven't been here on our travels. The thing that I'm thinking is I felt the highest point in my life. What could that mean? Maybe that's the highest point of the stadium. Maybe to do with something to do with the arena. I'm not too sure. He knows where it is, but I have no idea. Well, after watching MCFC lads' third clue over and over again, and a bit of help by the man who hid it, I kind of know where it is. It's a great, great treasure map clue. I never would have got it without some help. It is, of course, the link bridge between the academy and the stadium. That is a brilliant, brilliant clue. Luke, if you wrote that, that is absolutely fantastic. So let's head to the highest point on the bridge and let's see if he's up there, because I've got a feeling Mr. Rodri is going to be on top of the bridge. Well, we're at the highest point in the bridge and there he is placed under a Nectar card. We have found him. Rodri, how sexy is that? It's time to go and find Mr. Jude Bellingham. Here are the clues. Yes, guys, Roy here from the Roy's Football Paradise YouTube channel. James, good luck, brother. Clue number one. I would never consider a transfer here in my dreams. Okay, the first clue is kind of interesting. I think a lot of teams Jude Bellingham wouldn't go to. So that doesn't really narrow it down. It could be anywhere, this. We're going to need clue number two. Clue number two. I was here for England, and it is a little bit falling down. Okay, an interesting second clue from right there. Oh, I nearly slipped, but I know the answer. It's time to swap this place to the place that's falling down. Let's go to Old Trafford. I think he's there. England were there on the tour, and of course, Old Trafford is falling down. Let's go. Clue number three. The training programme at Madrid is very difficult. Right, I'm on the way to Old Trafford on the walk in my city jumper. That's how we do it. Sit. Ooh, you're hard. Now, the clues obviously brought me here. The falling down clue was a bit of a giveaway, uh, but we're going to see what the training programme thing means. I'm not too sure. Let's see what we can find. We're not allowed to film on site, so I don't think Luke would have put Bellingham on site. Training programme. Tra There's a programme boo there program booth oh maybe considering luke probably wouldn't have gone on site maybe the program booth might be the one all right we're here we're at the program booth there's the door oh my god there it is oh my god there it is we got him we got him ladies and gentlemen we have found mr jude bellingham at the program booth at old trafford get in right time to get in the car and get to the next player okay we're back in the car we've secured jude bellingham it is time to get the next clues for my ginger brother kdb what's going on my people and james i'm here to help you out on your mission clue number one the ginger brother is always with you as a one true partnership the ginger brother Oh, that's a tough one. I know he's always with me as an OTP. What could he mean by that? I think I'm going to need a second clue because that doesn't really pinpoint a location for me. Clue number two, take a trip to the birthplace of the ginger brother. Is that maybe where I said it first? Where did I say? It's got, it's got to be at my office. It's got to be back at the office. Right, let's go. We're going back to the office. We are here. We are in my office. Took a little bit of time to get here from Old Trafford, but we finally made it. Brad, so the card is hidden somewhere here in my office, but 
Brad, I'm gonna need a third clue. Clue number three, maybe you'll pack the ginger brother as a totty once again. This is not the correct one. This is last year's one because I packed him. Thank you uh, so much to your foot cut. There's another one. Yeah, I've, uh, yeah, I got two because it's a big one. Ah, there he is. He's Behind both team of the years is team of the year. Kevin De Bruyne. Please excuse the messy office, but there it is. Team of the Year De Bruyne next to Lionel Messi. And speaking of Messi, he's the next player. James, Rory Talks Football here. I've been told by a little birdie that you are on an adventure to find some totty items across the UK. And today, Rory gives clues. Clue number one, a place where I constantly dazzle and amaze. Okay, we are here in the city of Manchester. Now, it's pretty vague, the clue. It could be anywhere, so we're going to need to have a look at the second clue. Clue number two. I realised I need to work on my diving headers. And clue number three. My best mate is a club legend. He never convinced me to sign for City. Well, from the office to the Etihad, we are back and we parked this time on the orange car park, which is literally opposite where the Aguero statue is. I think the clues have kind of given it away. So let's go and check under the statue of the Argentine himself. Time to head to see if we can find the Messi. And Luke's already there taking some B-roll. So I know exactly where it is. Thank you so much to Rory for the clues. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen. He is right here where Luke's taking b-roll Lionel Messi himself right underneath the Sergio Aguero statue there he is in all of its glory and we found the go to football Lionel Messi should he be in the team of the year I don't know but he won the Ballon d'Or and he's the goat so you know what I'll let it slide it may be one last dance with Messi being in the team of the year but Messi's sweet we are off to the next one hey everyone it's Faz from the Urban Ballers James best of luck with his mate I don't think you're going to get this player clue number one and broke the record of Premier League goals at this stadium. He scored the goal against West Ham at the Etihad Stadium uh, to break the Premier League goal record. We're going to need clue number two. Clue number two. The South Stand always cheers my name. Now, I'm looking around the South Stand where the atmosphere section is. We obviously have the Legends reception. I'm looking everywhere on the floor. I'm going to try and get this one in two clues. But when I go up and down and can't find it, I probably may need a third. 12 seconds later. Well, I have scoured every nook and cranny of this South Stand and I still can't find it unless Luke has hidden it inside. So I am going to need clue number three. And the third and final clue, when I chip Fabianski, I felt a bit gravy. I chipped Fabianski and made him feel like gravy. Now his morals here, so it's surely got to be around here. I chipped Fabianski and made him feel like gravy. Where, what on earth could that be? Honestly, I, can, I can't actually think. Let's have a look around the area, see what we can find. I chipped Fabianski and made him feel like gravy. Surely. It's got to be there, right? I'm running. I'm running. We're running out of time. The sun is going to set very, very soon. Anyway, we need to find an open gate, head over to the fish shop on the other side of the road. Hopefully, Harlan's in the background of it, and it's the correct fish shop because there's about six that are down here. There's Main Road Cafe, which is where I like to go, and the fish and chip shop, which is next to it. Maybe it's hidden at one of those. Okay, here we go. Time to check in at Main Road Chippy to see if we can find Erling Harlan. There's nobody here. There is nobody here. Hello. Hiya. Hi, you okay? Hiya. We're on a team of the year treasure hunt. Do you know any information? We have been pointed in this direction. You don't know anything. I chipped Fabianski and it made me feel like gravy. Main Road Cafe's closed and the Harlem Morals just behind us. Surely it's got to be here, right? Maybe. Maybe. So you're telling me there's a chance that it could... Maybe this might be a small chance. There's a small chance? Okay. Right, it's got, it's got to be here. It has to be here. Is there any way that you could tell me where Harland might be? Maybe. Maybe. She's gone. She's gone. She just said maybe and then disappeared without a trace. Oh, she's coming back, she's coming back. Do, do you have anything for us? Which hand do you reckon? Which hand? Uh, left hand. What does it look like? He's a big brute, Erling Haaland, the Norwegian Viking himself. We got him! We got him there. He is. We found early on. Thank you so much. We have got him. Thank you very much to Main Road Chippy. Now it is time. Reveal those clues. Good morning, mate. Deep designs here. And I've got a few clues for you. Clue number one. I've tried London, but I am at home in my current city. Clue number two. 
My picture is on the wall, especially after my super strike versus Chelsea. Well, we are back at Anfield to start the attackers. Mohamed Salah is hidden around here somewhere, but we are here. We're back at Anfield. It is absolutely freezing. I probably shouldn't put my coat on, but I've left it in the car, which is really annoying. But I think there's a Salah mural at the back of the cup, which is the end in which he scored his famous strike against Chelsea. And obviously he's home here in his city. So let's go and find it. Right, I have searched the cop end from literal top to bottom on the outside. And Luke has been, where is he? He's been very, very generous and he's given me another clue. Now in the game in which Salah scored his famous goal, he said, think for the Chelsea team and think a winger that can compare to Mo Salah. And there's only one and it's Edin Hazard. How on earth is that a clue? For here, there's the Salah mural. I've checked all the way around it, even by the doors, right? And there is absolutely nothing by the doors. I'll show you. Nothing by the doors whatsoever. Usually they're like hidden in corners or something like that, but there is absolutely nothing here. Maybe on the windowsill, that would have been a good spot. No, I can't find it. Well, Hazard was number 10, right? There's number 10. Had oh, you. Hey, we got it. We got it, that took way too, I love it, I love it. That took way too long. But there he is, the Egyptian king, Mo Salah. It's gone dark, that's how long it took me, but we found him, the Egyptian king himself, Mo Salah. We found him here at Anfield. Now, hopefully this is our last stop because I don't think there's any Liverpool players uh, else that could be in team of the year. And, pro and Salah probably should be in team of the year. The fact that Messi and Ronaldo uh, are over him is a pretty much a, dis a disgrace anyway. Let's carry on uh, and find out who the next player is with our clues. Yo, what's going on, James? Good Vibes John here to help you with your team of the year challenge. Good luck, my man. The location of Mbappe is the <laughs> Clue one. I'm too homesick to leave Paris as the sights are so beautiful. Here's clue two. I glisten and shine every night on the pitch. And finally, here's clue three. My ego stands at 330 meters, but in England, it drops to 158. So we've got glistened sights, 330 meters. Oh my God. We're going to Blackpool. The issue is, and we didn't think this one through, is that we're now gonna have to sit in the Blackpool rush hour traffic and the rush hour traffic going up to Blackpool. Wish us luck. Come on, we can do this. We are arriving into Blackpool to try and get the final team of the year players. Now we have only got half an hour, but our first stop is over there for the glistened up Blackpool slash Eiffel Tower to try and get Kylian Mbappe. I'll tell you what, Luke, your clues have been absolutely brilliant. I'm just hoping that we can complete this challenge and win four of you guys some football kits. Well, look at my hair, it's going absolutely crazy, right? We are here in Blackpool, absolutely insane, this adventure so far. We have only got about 14 and a half minutes, thank you, uh, to find this Mbappe. Right, Luke says it's inside the tower. I think it's closed, but let's go and try. We are here at the Eiffel Tower, I mean Blackpool Tower, and we're gonna try and find Mbappe, and there he is glistening in front of me. Kylian Mbappe is secured here at the Blackpool Tower. I am just praying that the final card is in Blackpool. We've done about 400 miles today. I swear, if we're going back to Liverpool or Manchester, I'm not gonna be happy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a new day, and yesterday we managed to find 14 Team of the Year cards hidden across the UK. It was a crazy challenge, and it has not ended. Luke gave me this card to read out to you guys today. I've not seen it before, so here we go. Congratulations on finding 14 hidden Team of the Year items in the Team of the Year treasure hunt. As you may as well know, there is one player missing, the 12th man yes the 12th man is missing but who is it the 12th man for your team of the year treasure hunt was going to be harry kane and he was going to be hidden at captain hook's fish and chip shop in blackpool okay so he was in blackpool at least but luke said after we got mbappe this is where the challenge is ending until tomorrow and he gave me this card and it said do not read until tomorrow it says that right at the bottom and uh, i'm reading it out now but as you were on your treasure hunt the nominations for the 12th man were revealed and harry kane was not included in the nominations the nominations are indeed trent alexander arnold Federico valverde and cristiano ronaldo 
How on earth Harry Kane's not up for this vote? I have no idea. But okay. Cristiano Ronaldo is of course going to win the vote. And therefore the 12th man for your team of the year treasure hunt will be in fact the Portuguese legend. Okay, so we've got to go and find Cristiano Ronaldo. But where's he going to be? You are about to embark on a trip to go and complete challenges in order to unlock Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay, we are going to have to complete challenges to unlock the Portuguese man and win you guys some football kits. Don't think I forgot. If we complete this, I win you guys some kits. You will complete seven challenges for the iconic number seven of Cristiano Ronaldo. And your first challenge is as follows. You need to... What? You need to get to Manchester Airport as you are embarking on a flight to the nation in which knocked out Cristiano Ronaldo of his last World Cup. Wait, who knocked out Portugal again? Oh my God, we're going to Morocco! No way! Your flight is booked at 3.50 from Manchester Airport, so get out there, have some fun, and good luck. That is absolutely insane. We're going to Morocco! And the flight is booked at 10 to 4, and it's 1.15 now, so we better get going! Without further ado, it's time for me to head to Morocco. I honestly can't believe it, and this is where this video will end. But can I unlock Cristiano Ronaldo? Will I complete the Team of the Year treasure hunt? Find out in part three. Let's go to Morocco! Let's go!